We are almost six months through the year, so we're going to go ahead and Holy lay out. Crap. I know, right? It'll be Christmas in two weeks. <laughs> yes, seriously. Two, two more weeks. You mark my words, in two weeks, we're going to be singing Jingle Bells and Batman, Batman Smells, Smells and Robin, Robin Lady Neck. Neck. There we go. Your hand is so sweaty. It's sweaty. <laughs> With six months in the year, we want to know what's the best that we've had. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Coughing up flame. What's the best that we've had so far? That does not mean that it had to come out this year. It's just what we've tried yeah. this year. Yeah, because some of them did come out this year. I think most of these came out this year, yeah. except for like two of them. Yeah. And uh, for example, this is Swill Dog Double Oak. We didn't even know this company existed yeah. until about two months ago. This Double Oak is one of the best that we've had this year. Super healthy drink, all right? This thing's yeah, coming in at 100. It's, it's healthy. Disclaimer, Comes in at we're making no health claims. No health. <laughs> healthy in a different way. Healthy as in hearty. You, you know, I, you want. I want just a nip of that. You want a nip of I it? I want a nip of it. I got you. Because I might take a nip of something else. That's a nip. You want more than two a nip? Two nips. You want two nips? Two nips. Why don't you just say that? Is that two nips? That's that's enough of uh, two nips, yeah. Okay. Because I, I, may, I may take a nip of something else up here, too. That's what she said! One of the coolest things about Swill Dog is they take a small portion of their profits and they donate it to animal charities and hospitals and stuff like that. I think it's just charities. It actually says on there, animal charities, right there, right on the yeah, Dagum yeah. neck label. God, that's good. It is really good. This is why one of this is one of the best ones. It's, it's this double up product. It's oh. thick, it's rich, it's sweet. It's just the all finish. That you want. The finish is like buttery on your tongue. They, they are sourcing their product. I feel like this could be an MGB product. I hope maybe it's not. Maybe it is. But all, I'm, all I know is it's damn good. It's damn good. It's damn good. Damn! That shit good! On that note, kind of smaller things that we just found out this year. Uh, Jay Mattingly. This we picked up on the bourbon trip to Kentucky. This is a pick from the Blind Pig in Bardstown. This is uh, bottle number 31 of 42. Not many, but this turned me on to Jay Mattingly in general because they're doing super cool things for barrel picks where you can go and blend and barrel pick and everything else. This may be one of the best ryes I have ever tried. I think it is the best rye I've ever tried. It's off Which the is charts. not fair good. to the other ryes out there because this is not a mass production. I know, but the fact that Jay Manley, this this turned, tuned me in to Jay Manley. Did you say uh, tuned me in? Tuned me in. That's what not turned me on. It tuned you. Tuned. All right, let me re say that. This tuned. Now, this is all going in. What are we talking about? Tuned. They heard all your mess ups. This tuned me in. It tuned you in. Tuned me in. <laughs> Turned you on. Tuned you in. I will be looking out for Jay Manley in the future Good. and I'm picking fine. up bottles because the experience, everything's going to be different. And that's what I love about this hobby is you can pick up these one off bottles and experience something that you've never experienced before and yep. may never experience again. All right, for the lowest proof whiskey on this list, this is Bird Bird Sound. And for the lowest proof whiskey on those, my nuts <laughs> are in a vice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better put some of this shit in. All right, for the lowest proof whiskey on this list, almost messed up again, <laughs> is Bardstown Origin Series. This is their first distillate. This is 100 proof. This is their uh, bonded. Yep. And uh, it's the lowest proof, but sometimes you want to drink a lower proof. You can tell we've been hitting this bottle pretty hard. Bottle and bond, but this is actually a six-year distillate. Yeah. You're not expecting much, but when you, when you drink it, you're like, oh my God, holy crap. It's really good. Now, we've tried the Origin, but all of the Origin series now. We've got the white label up there. We've got the rye. Mm -hmm. They're both. Those are both solid. But this bonded is worth this that. Bond, this is a whole nother level. This is one of the best bottled and bonds I've ever had. Absolutely. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. Bardstown knocked it out of the park on this one. And also, you can pick this one up, at least around us, for 45 bucks. This one... You know we love our ECBPs. This is the B523, the May release. This is good. Uh, uh, whiskey boy. Uh, this may be the best B series release that we've tried. Out of the pa at least out of the past three years, this is this is the best. Yeah, because we always love the C series or the C release. And the B's kind of lack a little bit. Yeah, I, I typically like the A and the A best or the C best, A second best, B and then the B least. B just falls in last place. Yeah, but for some reason, this I, I like this better than the A of this year. Uh, it's coming in at one hundred twenty four point two proof. It's actually a little bit le lower proof than the A. It's one proof point lower. The, it's one twenty five point six on the A. It's one twenty four point two on this. They have removed the twelve year age statement on the ECBP because on the side it's always had at least for the last several years, maybe longer. 12 year this is coming in this is 11 year five month and they're going a little bit younger but you know what some of the younger barrel proofs from elijah craig 
have knocked it out of the park. All I really care about is how's it taste. Not necessarily how old it is. We're gonna come in with Old Elk Cigar Cut. Doug and Fred brought this up from Louisiana when we had our Bushwood Invitational. It's very hard to find in our area. It is, and I think it's somewhere around 110 to 135, something like that, the price is. This is their Cigar Cut. It is finished in Sherry Cast, Armanac, Port, and Cognac. Cognac? Oh, Cognac Oh, casks. Cognac. Yes, right. This right here is a goddamn candy bar in a, in a, in a jar. That it is really good. is. It's super sweet. Very sweet. And it's it's nice and oily, and it lasts forever. The hug is nice. You can taste the the cognac, the sherry, the port finish in it. It's yep. fruity. It's got that fruity sweetness to it. I really want to try that with a cigar. There's a couple. There's there's a pack of Cubanos over there that ah, uh, Zach that brought back yeah, that have been that. seasoned. I think now perfectly at three weeks in the humidor. Ooh. To bring them back up to uh, perfect humidification. Okay. Yeah. If you find this, pick it up. Super good. Buzzard Roost Cigar Rye. Listen. 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 Most cigar cuts and cigar blends, they don't taste like cigar, like you would think. Like I thought originally. When okay. I first heard about it a couple years ago, I thought, oh, cigar blend must have a lot of tobacco notes. No. They are blended to complement cigars very well. This cigar rye by Buzzard Roost, sourcing really good distillate from different from a variety of vendors, including like MGP and, and other one others, and then they are finishing at their facility. This is finished in new oak that has then been toasted and then smoked, lightly smoked with Kentucky tobacco leaves. This actually tastes like a cigar. Massive, massive tobacco notes in this, which we love. They don't have a very wide distribution yet, so I'll be checking online at Sealbox and some of the Drizzly and some of the other vendors on this, but I tell you what, I know they're available, not available in South Carolina but by us, but they are available in Georgia. So my next trip to Georgia, I'm on the lookout for Cigar Rye. I see it, I am buying a couple bottles for us. Doug brought this up for us from Louisiana for the Bushwood. Oh my God, when I tasted this, this is like amazing. One of my absolute favorite pours this year. There we go. Now we got Maker's Mark VEP limited edition, limited release. Sorry, this is the last one of their God, limited the release, one. and uh, it's a end of the end of an error. Error. Uh, er my error. God. error. Error. End of, end of an I'm, error. I'm a Southern belle, by God. <laughs> end of an error. Just like my dead gum sister, the director. You sound like Foghorn Leghorn over here. Well, end, I, end of an I, error. I say, boy, I boy. <laughs> end of an do error. Do you like your chicken original recipe or extra crispy? <laughs> All right. Anyway. Ryan's over here being a dickhead. Uh, this is Maker's Mark BEP limited release. This last one that they're doing. We don't know what they're coming out with next. Hopefully, it's like a, a super high proof. Like I've heard rumors. It's strictly rumors. Let's do 125 now. How awesome would it be to get a like 125 proof Maker's Mark? It'd be damn cool as hell. <laughs> I'm supposed to give off notes of caramel, sweet spice, and all. And it absolutely does. No, really this is do. a really good sip. It's a really good pour. And I'm going to be sad to see them go away. Well, this is some of the whiskeys that we like the most this year that have come out this year or that we've yeah. just in general tried this year. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys like Ooh, the good. most that you've had this year. 